life. There was, there was a time back in the day when I used to be able to just to queue, you know, and just get stuff. Or sometimes, it really, in the rare occasions, rarely, rarely you got the opportunity to sometimes call in the favor, right? I'm not necessarily that kind of guy. I don't really like asking people for things. But sometimes you had the ability to just, you know, you, I scratch your back, you scratch mine. Especially when I have something to offer. Especially when I used to work in a shop where you had a discount to offer somebody. That's when it really came into play. You're like, okay, hey, I know this is limited. I know, but you know where I work, right? You know I've got something for you as well. And I was always the kind of person that was really open and really free when it came to the discounts. I wasn't, I've never been, a, I guess because I don't necessarily, I never felt a sense of ownership working in the store i always knew my role right i never kind of had this inflated sense of self where i thought like yeah i'm the big guy i'm 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 here so this is my it's like those not you know i love the brand but let's use supreme as an example right supreme especially nowadays right some of the kids that work in there go on as if like you know i don't know they're jim jebby's son do you know what i mean when they're not they're just you know kids that work in a shop but back in the day that was part of their law in it if you went into supreme part of your law was that you know or part of the law was that they would um kind of vibe you out right to kind of make sure they kept the shop pure and it was all about skaters and stuff now of course it's not the fact you know now it's just populated by you know asian tourists and hordes of europeans buying up whatever they can buy so they can look cool to their friends back at school which is no bother but you know for a guy such as myself that's been a fan since you know the early 2000s it's hard to take but i think that helped me when i was working in the shop because when it come to when it came to kind of you know exchanging you know favors i was more than willing to give anyone whatever they wanted you know i'd go without for myself just to make sure i can get that exchange or get that kind of discount in their place and give them mine i didn't necessarily care um because i knew you know i was just a i was just a you know i was just a foot soldier in the in the store and you know i had to keep the eye on the prize on what that other person had but now where i'm just you know over here and i've kind of purposely pulled away from that scene and i'm not really involved you know, there is little to no opportunity to get any of those things. That's the only thing I kind of slightly regret <clears throat> from my time hanging out in that streetwear scene and being a part of it and, you know, trying to work my way through there, which I wouldn't do again, to be honest. And if anything, I'll just, you know, make my own brand and kind of operate from the fringes. But the only regret I have from it is I didn't really cultivate many relationships. I wasn't necessarily, you know, I didn't necessarily put my hand out. I wasn't, well, not put my, I didn't necessarily kind of, put myself in places where that could happen i didn't maintain relationships i'm not i'm not the kind of you know catching up with people guy i'm not i might catch don't get me wrong i might send you a random dm i'm not gonna ever meet you and have a drink i mean that's not gonna happen unfortunately i just got my own little issues when it comes to meeting people and stuff i don't know whatever <laughs> um but that's the only thing i regret in that respect so if if you're a kid and you're you know trying to maneuver in a scene and you're trying to, you know, do your thing, set up your little Instagram page, do your little brand, you got your little your fashion label that you're doing, you're customizing stuff, you're consulting, you're doing a bit of styling, marketing, whatever it may be, do, whatever it may be. The one thing that I can say, one, one only advice I can give, and again, I'm a nobody because, you know, my time had, has been and gone, but the only advice I can give you is try your best to cultivate it. How should I say it? Don't burn bridges. I can't honestly say don't burn bridges because everyone's personality is different. I don't give two Fs in it. So I burn bridges all the time because I don't really think it's a bridge. I just think if you're a dick, I'll call you out for it. I'll just keep it moving. But if you want to be successful <laughs> in that industry, it's probably best not to burn any bridges and to sort of try and have, um, don't take things too personally. That's the thing I'd advise to say. Don't take two things too personally. Build your network and don't burn bridges don't things don't take things too personally because everyone's you know it's a real crab in a barrel mentality in that, in that most subcultures um that have little ecosystem that's attached to it um they usually have a little crabs in the barrel sort of mentality right because they all think there's not many opportunities which you know is really silly and short sighted especially in the streetwear sneaker game i think sneaker game is what valued at what a billion dollar industry sneakers alone so i'm sure streetwear when you add it on top of it is you know multi-billions so there's obviously opportunities for success opportunities for riches opportunities for you to take us take your to get away from the position that you're in now to kind of you know further your prospects to put your boys on there's oppor there's going to be a chance varying levels of successes you know not everyone can be um ian connor not everyone can be um the kid that does dirt bag not everyone can be there not everyone can be in that studios but if you want to do your little thing in the scene you can do it you just gotta know where you fit in so as long as you're 
as long as you're kind of doing that you're fine right as long as you're doing that you're fine don't burn the bridges of course that's you know that they don't need to be you don't need to explain that too much right i think the not burning bridges thing is just people can just be people can get butt hurt about things right and hmm, people can get but i guess you don't want to burn your bridges just in case you need someone for something right or just in case they can help you out in some way shape or form it's a little bit fake and it's a little bit surface level but it is what it is isn't it that's the industry that you're in right you're essentially making clothes you're essentially committed to a life of materialism you have to you know you have to be comfortable with somehow you know giving figuratively speaking giving someone your ass so that you can get forward in life it is what it is so in order to do that you just can't burn bridges you just have to be able to um just absorb whatever comes your way that you feel is negative or that kind of makes you feel away you just have to just be able to just kind of withstand it and be resilient as much as you can so that once the opportunity comes for you to show and prove boom you can and no one's got a bad to say about you because you know you've essentially been a good dude um and then of course build your network which is probably the most important one i think a good example of that is virgil right Virgil is probably the classic example of how how important it is to build your network yeah you can say kanye put him on and if he wasn't with kanye he wouldn't be anywhere but most of his genius has come from his ability to cultivate a network of people who genuinely think they're his friend or no, i wouldn't say it. that's bad sounds bad but they generally think they're friends they're all friends they don't i don't know they're all friends right let's say they're all friends he has a group of friends that he's been able to cultivate over the years that have formed his network that all kind of you know influence and you know kind of inspire and sort of add to the things that he's doing and the good thing about it is because he's so successful everyone in his network that has any sort of you know connection with him is going to immediately start kind of boasting about it from the raft of shouting oh i know him i know him i know him i know him, which then kind of expands his own network because those people that are adjacent to that person are then going to say oh i know somebody that knows him and then that network then becomes multidisciplinary right the people that are scattered all over the world in various different industries um and of course you never know when that could be handy because i could Im imagine for instance i don't know what the story is but let's imagine for instance one of virgil's friends who he used to help i don't know one of Virgil's friends who he knew who works in the company that does merchandising was helping him out make stuff for bincho back in the day that person then goes and works um that then that person then goes end up marrying somebody who's the lead creative for flipping ikea then suddenly there's a connection there because of that one person right and then that person's the one i recommend i don't know what the story was of virgil and ikea but imagine that was a story that's why that's the importance of having a network of like cultivating or just kind of keeping people around you that are sort of in the same similar sort of you know um scene as you um within your network you know collaborating with stuff just kind of hanging out talking sharing ideas um, recommending movies and music to each other whatever it may be just so you can obviously expand your field of influence your your field sorry your field of your no so more so, so you can expand the amount of inspiration that's coming your way or information right you don't want to just be like you know only hanging around with one set of people you'd want to have your network be as varied as it can be it doesn't have to be your real life either especially with the beauty of social media you can just do it all online but that's super important i think if you want to get forward in life in any scene mostly but i think mostly especially in the fashion side of it sneaker design you need to have that you need to have that ability to you know not take too not take things personally because you just can't you don't you never know who's going to be you never know that person that was rude to you before you were trying to get into some exclusive club might end up being this person the person that was you know that you kind of cussed out in an email might end up being that person you know what I mean you never know when those people where those people could end up or they never know where you could end up so never take things too personally it is what it is if someone says something rude just kind of you know walk the dust back of course build your network and of course what's the other thing i said build your network don't get too, too seriously and I don't know what the, but those two are probably the it probably if you want to make in that scene i think those two will be it um that would be my advice on that one Move